Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add echo and reverb to your voice in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is what we're going to be creating right here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. As you can hear, that's sort of a stadium announcer voice, but with these effects, we can create, you know, like a cave voice, we can create a smaller auditorium, we can do a lot with these. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need some audio to work with. So I just have this voice recording. I actually did it within Premiere Pro using this button right here. Just recorded myself saying just hello and welcome. Hello, as you can hear right there and then over here, welcome. And so after that, what I do is I need to have a sort of a tail on the end of this, and that's this silence at the very end. When you're recording it, make sure to add that to the very end of it. It'll make this process easier. If you don't have that at the end, the problem that arises is whenever you have that echo, you have this issue where right when it gets to the end of the clip, it's going to stop playing audio. So if we go, welcome, it'll go, welcome, welcome, and it'll stop, and we don't want that. So we need that silence at the end. If your audio doesn't have silence, then we can sort of hack it a little bit. What we do is we right click on this, we go into nest, name it whatever you want, and then we double click on this and now we're inside of the nested sequence. We then take our audio, so in this situation, it's just this, I believe it's uh, audio 2-5, because it took me five attempts to get it right. I drag that in like so, and then I try to make it so it extends this track over here. So however much I want to extend, let's say I want to add um, let's say that the clip right here is only this long. So I just add it over, right click on it, go to audio gain, and then drag that down to negative, basically as far as it goes down. And that's what's going to mute this clip at the very end here. Now, when I go back over here, you'll notice that this now extends all the way out with that additional silence. So from here, where if I had a clip that ended right here, I can now extend it all the way over here, and then I just apply the effects to this sequence as a whole. And now you have the ability to add it to whatever. So now that we have our audio clip ready to go, we need to use two different effects here. We're gonna be using Studio Reverb and Delay. So Reverb is going to add the reverb. That's that sound like you're in a cave or you're in an auditorium where everything is echoing back and forth really largely so it gives you that large presence like you're in a big room and then delay that's what's going to give you the welcome 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 over time the delay is going to keep repeating it as if it's as if the core of that audio is repeating back to you multiple times first thing we want to add is we're going to add in that delay so we're going to just search delay it's under audio effects down to delay drag that onto the audio clip and now we have three controls here. Typically feedback is called decay. That's like the normal way we use that, but for some reason, maybe it's slightly different in this, but our sort of decay is gonna be our feedback. And what that means is that every time it repeats, it's going to take just a little bit out of it. So what we're gonna do is set this to maybe around half a second, somewhere around that, you might wanna move it around for whatever the situation is, and you'll get this at first. Hello. Hello. And you can hear there are only two of them, and that's where that sort of def feedback decay comes in. What we wanna do is we wanna bring this up to about 20-ish percent, and then we'll get that sort of repetition over time. Hello, 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 hello. And you can hear that repetition over and over, and the more you do this, the more it's going to add. So if we go up to like 100, it gets kind of crazy. Hello, 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 hello. And it just keeps going, and it does not go down at all. So what we want is we want somewhere like around 20% to get that realistic effect. And then the mix is what's gonna be sort of more heavy in the sound. Um, in this situation, we want the mix to go down a little bit to maybe around 30. That's gonna make the first one really loud and then it's going to get quieter over every hello, single other hello. one. And you can hear it just fades out now. So now we have those three things set. We now have our general delay set. So the, the sound like we're in a really big auditorium or cave that is echoing back. Next part is that reverb. So now we're gonna search for reverb down here and we want this surround reverb. We're gonna drag that onto our clip and immediately you should notice that it starts reverbing, but it sounds really, really far away. And so what we wanna do is go into the edit part of this. We want to, we can keep it on Cathedral. Uh, go ahead and play around with all of these because each one of them is gonna be a little bit different of a mix. It's gonna have a different sound to it. I like the large concert hall. I think that gives it a, a good sound here. So we have now this. Hello. Issue here is we can't hear it. It sounds like it's really, really far away. Again, might be something you wanna do if someone 
across your scene, you know, and the back is yelling through a cave to you, this would be a great way to use it. What we want to do though is we want it, you know, to sound like we're next to the person yelling. So we're going to use this gain right here. We're not going to use the gain down here. That's um, after this effect has been applied. This is going to do it while the effect's applied and it'll give us a better sound overall. So we're gonna bring that up to maybe 13 and then listen in. Hello. And now you can sound, see that it sounds pretty much similar to when it started just with that reverb now. So let's listen to it one more time. Hello. And then maybe the welcome. welcome. And what I also like to do is I like to add a little bit of front width to it. That just gives the, the sound a little bit of more clarity on the front and more reverb to the back. So the, the reverb is sort of coming with the, the sound coming back instead of the voice itself. Welcome. Hello. And there we have it. That pretty much creates the effect. And like I said, you can do anything with these two effects. Manipulate the delay, manipulate the reverb, and we can make a whole bunch of scenarios where we need an echoed voice. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make a video every other day, or at least I attempt to make a video every other day, uh, right here on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.